Welcome back to the Kiss Guide channel. This is me, your host, Peter. And today, I have two phones na highly anticipated and much talk about for me at least. This is the Realme 6i and the Redmi Note 9S. Realme 6i, this is a phone that is priced at uh, PHP 7,990 pesos. And there is also a variant na 9,990 pesos. Meanwhile, si Redmi Note 9S naman is a device na has a starting price of 10,490 pesos and yung max variant niya is uh, priced at 11,990 pesos. Hindi talaga sila technically super magkatapat at this price segment but since meron silang uh, variants na medyo dikit yung pricing, marami nagre-request sa amin na gumawa ng comparison to see kung sino yung better value for money smartphone between these two devices. And I think worth it naman silang i-compare dahil pareha silang napakaganda ng specs for their respective prices. So, let's begin! When it comes to build and design, si Realme 6i is equipped with a plastic material at the back and glass in front. And yung side niya is, is a plastic material din kasi I think this is a unibody type of design. And in front, the glass is 2.5D curve. It is protected by Gorilla Glass 3. Yung mga ports niya, kompleto naman. So we have here the uh, USB-C port. Yes, USB-C na siya. And then 3.5mm jack. Microphone. And then sa side, kita mo here yung kanyang volume keys. Volume up and down. And then meron din siya nung uh, SIM slots. Triple slot siya eh, for dual SIM and... Uh, micro SD. So, same sa likuran. Uh, sa kabilang side naman pala, meron siyang power key here. And then here sa likod, again, meron siyang quad camera setup. Slightly protruded. And then may LED flash here. And then you get the fingerprint scanner here. The difference is mas premium ng konti tingnan yung kay uh, Redmi Note 9S for me. Uh, while it has this uh, maleta-like pattern, for me, mas premium to. Kasi glossy glass back as in legit na glass, Gorilla Glass 5 actually in, ang gamit ni Xiaomi here, the Redmi here. And meron din siyang camera hump sa likuran. Mas makapal yung camera hump niya kaysa sa camera hump ni uh, Realme. And at least uh, medyo mas unique for me yung camera setup na to. Uh, para sa quad camera but this one is a square quad camera look. And rectangular yung kanyang camera space including these LED flash at the bottom. Yung body niya, uh, I think this is a metallic type of material. And as you can see here, the power button niya in fingerprint scanner. It works as a power button in fingerprint scanner at the same time. And then volume up and down keys. Although I would have liked it, mas gusto ko ng konti. Nitik lang, mas gusto ko yung ganito. Yung alam ko kung ano yung pinipindot ko. Kaysa here na medyo nagkakamali ako minsan. On the top, ito isang advantage ni Redmi. Uh, there are very very few phones with this. Itong hole na to, hindi siya hole actually. It's a sensor. It is the IR sensor. You can use the phone as a remote control for your home appliances. And then here sa top, meron din siya microphone. Sa ilalim, USB-C rin siya. May single speaker din. And then may microphone. And then may 3.5mm jack. Similar sila halos uh, sa lahat ng bagay. Triple slots din to. Mm. Ang difference nila is in front. Here, I think it's a main advantage ni Redmi. It is using a punch hole display. While si Realme, notch pa rin yung ganyang gamit. But that is understandable kasi nga mas mura siya. And yung kay Redmi, I think this is the cheapest right now here in the country with a punch hole type of display. And on top, kita niya meron siya ditong uh, speaker grill. It's ganun din naman kay Realme. May speaker grill din siya on top. So... But yung bezels, mas manipis yung bezels ni Redmi overall. Although medyo makapal pa rin to ah. Medyo makapal pa rin to. Although understandable at this price point. But yung kay Realme ay mas makapal talaga. Sana mas nipisan pa ni Realme to. Although naintindihan ko naman dahil mas mura siya kay Redmi. For comfort and grip naman dahil nga yung material ni Realme is plastic and it has this medyo matte type yung kanyang finish. I find it uh, more comfortable ng konti sa kamay. And hindi siya ganun kadulas compared ng glass ni Redmi. And let us all remember that glass is glass. 
Pag nabagsak mo yan, there is a chance na mabasag mo siya Yung plastic, meron din siyang chance na mabasag siya But I think for me, in my experience, ah, mas less yung chance na nakababasag yung mga plastic back covers Although, kahit na mas premium siya tingnan, mas matiba eh yung uh, plastic So for me, ako maglalagay pa rin ako ng case sa uh, both of them Just to avoid those unwanted circumstances na pwede natin silang masira or madamage I also like the fact na naglagay ng screen protector si Realme and si Xiaomi out of the box dito sa mga phones na to and yun nga, so far I think medyo lamang na konti si Redmi dahil nga mas premium yung material na ginamit niya and meron pa siyang water splash resistance so meron siyang P2i water splash resistance na pwede ma-protect sa phone na to sa mga water splashes like for example, matapon na mo ng kape, matapon na mo ng juice, uh, hindi siya basta-basta masisira because nga meron siyang uh, rating for that When it comes to display quality, parehas naman sila maganda. Uh, both nagre-render ng kulay ng maigi. And I think uh, decent yung kanilang overall picture quality performance. Parehas silang IPS panel. Although, mas mataas yung resolution nung kay Xiaomi. It is using a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. 20 by 9 sila parehas but yung kay Xiaomi is, yung resolution niya is... Full HD+, plus, meaning it is 2400 by 1080 mas mataas yung kanyang pixels per inch at 395. Yung kay Realme 6i, while I find it still decent for the price, hindi siya ganun ka-sharp. It is using an HD plus panel only. Uh, yung resolution nun is 1600 by uh, 720 or around 269 pixels per inch. Although in real life naman, at least decent yung kanyang viewing angles. Malakas naman yung kanyang brightness level pag tinodo mo yung brightness niya. And yung picture quality niya, well, manunood ka is medyo decent pa rin. Actually, uh, hindi ko masyadong madistinguish yung difference nila when it comes to picture quality. Maliban sa sharpness. Mas sharp lang ng konti in real life yung kay Redmi. So, yun nga yung advantage ni Xiaomi when it comes to uh, the screen. For audio naman, for me, mas buo yung tunog ng speaker ni Redmi. Uh, mas maganda yung linear speaker na ginamit ni Redmi kaysa sa linear speaker na ginamit ni Realme. Yung kay Realme medyo matinis ng konti yung tunog and mas buo for me yung tunog naman nung kay Xiaomi. So, for headphones, medyo similar sila. Meron lang real audio sound technology na ginagamit si Realme na mas okay for me yung equalizers niya. Equalizer settings niya compared sa equalizer settings na nakita ko dito kay Xiaomi. But, Overall, medyo dikit naman sila in that regard. And this is just a matter of preference. Bumili ka ng magandang headphones, bumili ka ng magandang earphones, hindi mo na mararamdaman masyado yung difference nila. Mas malakas lang ng konti yung driving power nung kay Realme. What do I mean by driving power? Pag nag-volume key ka, siguro kahit mga 50% loudness lang, kaya niya. Kaya niya ng pagandahin yung tunog nung iyong wired earphones. Bluetooth, medyo similar. Uh, Although Qualcomm kasi to si ano eh. Qualcomm si uh, Xiaomi, Snapdragon 720G so mas uh, for me mas okay ng konti yung kanyang uh, transmission. No para sa mga silang Bluetooth 5.0. But sa calls, dikit lang. Halos magkasin lang yung ear speaker nila and halos similar din ng quality for me. Microphones, yung dual mic si Redmi. Uh, sa, dito si Realme I think dito lang siya sa ilalim may microphone si Redmi may isa pa siyang microphone here I just don't know if dual mic to ah, kasi dalawa yung butas eh. uh, maybe pasokan lang yun ng hangin <laughs> but we are not that sure in, in terms of real life quality naman uh, I tried it slightly mas gusto ko ng kwadi yung kay Redmi when it comes to audio quality but Kudos na rin to Realme despite na it is really mas mura, decent pa rin yung kanyang output. So parehas naman sila maganda for you in terms of the multimedia experience. For cameras, itong dalawang smartphones na ito ay equipped with a 48MP quad camera setup. Magkaiba lang sila ng itsura ng camera placement but madami silang similarities in terms of camera specs. Si Redmi Note 9S is equipped with a 48MP f1.79 Samsung IOS LGM2 sensor with PDAP and EIS. While si Realme 6i naman is equipped with a 48MP f1.8, so lower ng 0.1. At 
uh, may pit-up din siya and yun nga, yung kanilang secondary cameras naman pareha silang 8MP f 2.2 na ultra-wide angle camera so 119 degrees na ultra-wide sensor yung gamit nila parehas medyo magkaiba sila sa macro cameras macro camera ni Redmi is higher it is a 5 megapixel macro camera with 2CM 2CM macro support yung kay Realme naman is a 2MP camera with 4CM macro support yung last cameras nila both are using a depth sensor yung kay Realme it is a 2 megapixels na depth sensor at f2.4 and monochrome yung gamit niya yung kay Redmi naman yung gamit niya is a 2MP rin but it is a color sensor uh, and para sa mga super low light na scenario meron silang LED flash parehas sa camera settings marami silang similarities for me uh, pareha silang merong HDR mode pareha silang merong 2 times digital zoom and pareha silang merong portrait shot and meron silang night mode and 48MP 48MP mode so if you want to use those modes, just select them. And then, si Realme, meron lang siya natin tinatawag natin Chroma Boost. Yung Chroma Boost sensor na yan, uh, it can enhance the color of your shots pag tingin mong medyo dull siya. But, gusto ko kasi yung mas natural, so I just turn it off most of the time. And pareha silang EA assisted. So, let's expect na may counting enhancements na ikakabuti naman ng shots ninyo yung dalawang devices na to. So now, we will show you some of the camera samples that we took using the back cameras of these devices. For taking daylight images, medyo similar sila for me. Mas, may slight saturation lang yung kay Redmi Note 9S and slightly more natural na konti yung kay Realme 6i dito sa aking mga first photos na tinake. And then sa ultra-wide camera, medyo may similarities din sila although mas saturated again na konti si Redmi Note 9S and I slightly prefer yung kulay ng kay Realme 6i. But I think mas lamang ng konti ng detail si Redmi Note 9S on both scenarios. But yung meron silang glaring difference eh. That is when it comes to taking medyo close-up images. Yung kay Realme 6i, while it is detailed, mas may noise siya. And I also noticed na overexposed siya compared dun sa Redmi Note 9S shot. Si Redmi Note 9S naman, medyo matapang yung kulay eh. Mas oversaturated talaga siya. But for me, I will still pick it over the Realme 6i sa close-up shot dahil nga mas detailed siya and mas maayos yung kanyang exposure control. And galing galing pa nag-zoom ka eh. I tried to zoom as well. Uh, mas maganda pa rin yung zoom ni Redmi Note 9S when it comes to 2 times digital zoom and dahil nga mas detailed siya at least for me. And of course, we tried yung portrait modes ng no, both devices. Ayun nga, here, mas ano rin yung kay, ano eh, kay Realme. Mas uh, overexposed siya ng konti, mas maputila yung kulay niya. And si Redmi Note 9S naman, hindi siya oversaturated this time, nakuha niya yung tamang kulay na I want. And pag sinun mo ng konti, dito mo makikita yung difference nila. Uh, for me, mas maganda yung edge detection ng kay Redmi compared sa edge detection ng kay Realme. But very minimal difference lang naman sila overall in that regard. Yung one of their fourth cameras is specifically designed to help you take super close-up images or yung tinatawag nating macro shots. Yung kay Redmi up to 2CM yung sabi ni Xiaomi while yung kay Realme up to 4CM yung sinasabi ni Xiaomi. But while I am testing it, medyo dikit lang talaga sila and even yung focusing distance, I think konting-konti lang yung difference nila when it comes to that regard. And actually sa shot na nakuha ko to, medyo lamang pa lang konti yung kay Realme when it comes to details. For indoor shots, I prefer yung nakuha ko dito kay Realme 6i both sa main camera and old wide camera because mas accurate yung kanyang exposure and mas true yung kanyang colors. Yung kay Redmi Note 9S, medyo masyado niya pinaputi, masyado niya pinaliwanag although maganda naman yung details niya. I just slightly prefer si Realme 6i a little bit better this time. Sa low light naman, dahil nga pareha silang mayroong 48 megapixel cameras with pixel binning technology, yung 4-in-1 pixel solution that uh, makes 
uh, images a little better in the dark by combining yung apat na pixels na yun to produce a 12 megapixel shot. Okay naman yung output na nakuha ko sa kanila parehas. Although by default, mas gusto ko ng konti yung exposure control ng Pi Realme. And yung kulay naman, mas gusto ko yung kay Redmi. But to enhance those shots, pareha sila may night mode. Although dito may lamang ng konti si Realme kay Redmi dahil si Realme meron siyang night mode even sa ultra wide shots. Kapag ginamit mo yung night modes nila, basically i-increase niya yung quality ng yung images in the dark. Gagawin niya mas detailed, mas correct yung exposure, and better yung kanyang shadows and dynamic range. And ganun yung nangyari for both shots that I took using the night mode. However, meron silang difference for me when it comes to uh, colors. Dito, medyo na sobrahan yung saturation for me nung kay uh, Redmi. So, in this particular scene, I think I will go for the Realme. Mas okay din yung kanyang details. But not all the time panalo si Realme. There are times where the Redmi Note 9S will correct yung kanyang mga mistakes sa ibang shots. And this is an example of it. I personally prefer yung uh, night shot ni Redmi Note 9 as in this particular scenario. Mas less yung kanyang noise and slightly sharper siya with a little better colors. Pagdating sa selfie camera, parehas lang merong 16 megapixel sensors. Si Realme may 16MP f2.0 uh, siya while si Redmi Note 9S is f2.48. Parehas lang may portrait mode, parehas lang may beautification, and parehas lang merong automatic HDR when you need it. I think parehas din silang AI assisted. So ngayon, let's check na yung mga selfie camera samples that we took using these phones. Actually, parehas naman maganda yung kanilang selfie camera output. Although, uh, sa face beauty, I think mas lamang dito si Realme kasi it's still retained yung details on my face. Uh, In-enhance na lang konti, pinakinis na lang konti, but it is not super kinis. And yung kay Redmi, medyo mas, ano talaga siya eh, mas smooth talaga yung skin ko dito. But, ang gusto ko sa kanya yung colors. Mas tama yung colors niya and yung exposure niya. So, if I were to choose one, medyo mahirap eh. May, medyo tabla sila when it comes to taking selfies, at least for me. And in, even for indoor selfies, medyo similar eh. Medyo similar yung kanilang kayang gawin for indoor selfie shots. Although mas wide talaga yung field of view nung kay Realme. So if you want to take groupies, maybe go for the Realme selfie camera. For low light selfies, uh, parehas silang nagstruggle ng konti obviously. Nabawasan yung details, nagkaroon ng mas daming noise and mas soft actually sila both for me. Slightly mas soft lang yung kay Realme. But when it comes to colors, I think mas pipiliin ko siya dahil... This time, medyo yellow yung ilaw doon sa labas. And yung kay Redmi, masyado niya akong pinapula ng konti here. So, color accuracy will go to Realme ng konti. And then, when it comes to details, maybe I will choose si Redmi. But again, ayun nga, kita natin yung difference nila when it comes to the field of view. Mas wide talaga yung selfie ni uh, Realme 6i. And that could be a huge factor to a lot of people na gusto ng camera, selfie camera phone na pwede pang groovy as well. So hi guys, this is me Peter of Gizguy.com and I'm currently trying the 4K 30 frames per second videos of this handset, the Redmi Note 9S and it has plenty of details although the stabilization is not present at 4K unlike the 1080p mode but in general, this is crisp. This is actually quite nice. I will just use a gimbal to make my shots more stabilized. And even the focus and color accuracy is pretty respectable here. Look at that. It's pretty fast. This one is pretty okay. And it's well exposed. The same goes for the ultra wide mode. Uh, it shoots 1080p videos and this time only at 30 fps it is really wide and distortion is present but it's not bad at all 
and even the focus is actually reasonable my concern here again is the shake actually that's my only concern about its cameras everything else is decent for the price one of the things that I like about its cameras is it can record up to 1080p 30fps using the ultra wide angle mode and in this setting you can see that the stabilization is so much better it is because of the EIS and this is the thing that uh, the Realme 6i is lacking it does not have EIS so I think for me the winner for videos is the Redmi Note 9s overall This is the maximum video settings of the Realme 6i. It can only record up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. Well, like what we mentioned in our review, I just find it okay, I just find it decent, but it's far from the best out there. For the under 10,000 pesos price tag, this is uh, reasonable, although the shake is not as great as the uh, Redmi Note 9S so expect this to be shakier than most smartphones with EIS or e image stabilization but again this is cheaper exposure is actually good and it focuses really fast and that is actually the good thing about its cameras so hi guys this is me Peter of Kiskai.com and this is the 1080p selfie video camera sample using the new realme 6i and we will be comparing it with the redmi note 9s this is the maximum stretch of my arms and as you can see the field of view is pretty respectable here now let's switch to the redmi note 9s like the realme 6i the redmi note 9s can also take 1080p selfies selfie videos at 30 frames per second uh, as you can see details are okay and this one is generally considered as decent although the crop is a little bigger compared to the realme selfie video and the exposure here is a bit uh, not that accurate it's a bit warmer here maybe because of my face mask but other than that this is a decent selfie camera for taking videos So sa performance, ito yung niyayabang ng dalawang phones na to. Si Realme 6i, it is the most affordable smartphone in the country currently with the Helio G80 processor. Yung Helio G80 processor, it is a 12 nanometer chip that is designed to allow even budget users to enjoy decent gaming. Actually, in our test, nakapagpatakbo siya ng games like the NBA 2K20 at high settings. And uh, other games like uh, PUBG Mobile, uh, Mobile Legends, and Call of Duty. Yung Call of Duty niya, okay lang din naman, although hindi mo talaga matatodo yung settings niya. But yung uh, Mobile Legends niya, merong high frame rate mode. Si Redmi Note 9S naman, obviously, mas powerful yung kanyang specs. It is actually using the Snapdragon 820G chipset. And in our benchmark, Test, mas mataas talaga yung score niya nakuha niya compared natin kay Realme 6 IMI 201K lang si Redmi Note 9S merong 275K almost as powerful na siya ng Helio G90T ni MediaTek and that is actually a nice chipset for the price lalo na dahil 8 nanometer siya meaning baka mas power efficient siya actually mas power efficient siya ng konti when it comes to uh, battery usage and I like that. And when it comes to RAM, for multitasking, Redmi Note 9S has up to 6GB of RAM, while si Realme 6i has to 4GB only. Storage, parehas lang, 64GB and 128GB. 
And yung battery nila parehas 5,000 mAh. Parehas yun silang merong 18 watts USB-C fast charging. Although in my actual test, even if parehas silang 18 watts, yung kay Xiaomi is equipped with, a, I think this is 22 uh, watts, eh, 22.5 watts na charger. And yung actual charging speed nila, mas mabilis ng konti yung kay uh, Redmi Note 9S. I think it is just 1 hour and 40 minutes from 0 to 100% while yung kay uh, Realme, even if same sila ng 18 watts ah, na max charging capacity, naka 2 hours and 10 minutes ako kay Realme. But overall naman, hindi sila sobrang malayong malayo when it comes to speed. Uh, I've been testing yung dalawang phones na to. Uh, and happy ako when it comes to their performance. Malaking bagay din siguro yung skins nila dahil para sa lang Android 10 na. So that is the latest OS of uh, Google. And si Realme, it's, it is using the Realme UI. And for me, mas malinis ng konti si Realme UI and mas gusto ko yung kanyang itsura dahil mas stock-like siya and uh, mas customizable siya ng konti uh, kay MIUI. Although si MIUI, madami ng modifications to eh. Marami na siyang pwedeng gawin eh. Although hindi ko lang talaga siya masyadong uh, feel masyado. Medyo nagsasawa na ako kay MIUI. Mas breath of fresh air to si uh, real MIUI na based sa color OS. Para sila may dark mode. As you can see here, dark mode. Uh, Parehas naman silang okay yung itsura. Ngayon lang, I just slightly prefer lang yung kay Realme ng konti. Ang hindi ko lang gusto kay Realme ito, uh, marami siyang bloatwares. Although yung mga bloatwares na yun naman, pwede mong alisin. So, sa connectivity, parehas namang okay. Yung fingerprint scanner sila, parehas namang mabilis mag-unlock. Okay naman sila parehas for me. Although sa face unlock, medyo mas mabagal lang konti yung face unlock ni uh, Realme in our test. Mas mabilis ng konti yung kay Redmi. But, okay lang. Uh, hindi naman siya talagang super big deal. Especially at this price point. What I'm saying is, almost complete na yung experience na kayang ibigay ng dalawang teleponong to for their respective price points. And now, I'm happy na in 2020, we can now get phones na ganito kabilis and ganito kaganda even without spending too much. ba? And that is a huge advantage for uh, every one of us. My verdict, uh, parehas silang maganda. No question. Parehas silang sobrang sulit. Uh, depende na lang siguro sa inyong preference. Siguro if yung budget mo is just like 7,990 pesos, go for the Realme 6i kasi siya yung pinakamabilis ngayon at this price point. And siya yung may pinakamagandang overall specs na makikita mo at that, uh, again, price point. And if you have 10,000 pesos, may medyo doon ka na medyo magdadalawang isip eh. Kasi magdagdag ka na lang ng 500 pesos, you will get the Redmi Note 9S base variant. Even if lower yung storage niya at 64GB versus the 128GB ni Realme 6i na 10,000 pesos. Why? You get the phone with a better chipset, higher resolution screen, and uh, arguably slightly better overall cameras. Lalo for taking videos and yung mga shots na mas detailed in daylight na hindi na go overexposed. So if I were to choose one, if I can spend more, I'll go for the Redmi Note 9S. But if talagang tagtipid ako, Realme 6i. And sabi ko nga, I will choose only one, so Redmi Note 9S. And that's it guys. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you like what we just saw you. Bye-bye!